So it's my birthday. Yay! This and I'm going to be celebrating all month. But uh as we age, uh, and I'll be and I just turned 64, <laughs> uh you know, our thoughts turn to uh youth, to getting older. What does that mean? Are we are we still beautiful? Do we still have it? And so that's going to be the subject of this video. So if you want to know more, then just keep watching. Today, uh, I want to talk a little bit about what is beauty? What makes a woman or a man beautiful, uh, youthful, ageless? There's a blogger, her name is Mercedes, and her channel is La Mori La Musique, and she often talks about the negative connotations associated with anti-aging, a term that the beauty industry likes to use uh, when referring to treatments that help us turn back the clock. There's a negative association with the signs of aging, wrinkling, sagging. Uh, and I feel like that, and she talks about this, and I, I completely agree, that we really need to change uh, the discussion to something that is more um, positive because there is nothing negative about aging at all. And uh, I think that uh, as... As, as soon as we can associate aging with the things that we feel like we lose as we age, beauty, youthful, vigor, um, these things are, are uh, not necessarily incompatible. In fact, they are quite compatible and go very well together. And today I'm going to talk about exactly why. So this video is going to be a celebration of aging. I'm going to talk about uh, the things that I believe make a woman or a man beautiful and um, hopefully uh, uh, maybe change, change your, your mind a little bit about uh, aging and a time of life, a fact of life, that is associated with being alive because if you are alive, you are aging. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is engaging in those things that that you are passionate about it's those things that that make you hop out of bed with uh, enthusiasm in the morning the thing that brings you joy there is nothing so attractive as watching someone who is passionate about something tell you uh, what it is that that makes them passionate about that what that subject or activity or whatever it is it uh, it reminds me of um, a few years ago, I attended a series of lectures and one of the topics was physics. And in my experience, physics was probably the most boring thing that you could think of. And yet, listening to this professor talk in uh, very clear terms and detail about the the what physics is and how it works in our lives on a daily basis it was fascinating and i could not take my eyes off of him and i couldn't you know turn my attention away um i was riveted there was nothing more than the strength of his passion about the subject that made him so engaging and attractive so what are those things that you are passionate about what really really gets your juices going and and brings joy and enthusiasm to your life. Tell me in the comments below. The act of caring for another, whether it's a, a loved one or a friend, a neighbor, a co-worker, a, a customer, or the environment, or a pet. There is such beauty and grace in the act of caring, of simply noticing or observing a need and filling that need. It doesn't have to be anything dramatic. It can be something simple. But simply just doing something for another 
because you can is a thing of beauty. Knowing how to listen with enthusiasm, to be interested as opposed to interesting. Um, it's, a, it's a skill that, that comes, that's born out of having a genuine curiosity for others, for their experiences. And uh, there is nothing so um, that will draw you in, like knowing that the person that you're speaking to is really interested and is really listening to what you're saying. And on the subject of curiosity, being curious about anything, life, everything, um, willing to learn new things. You know, it's, it's, you're never too old to learn or experience something new. That's, that keeps you youthful. That is a sign of youthful, is constantly wondering, like, what is that about her? What is this about her? Who is that person? Tell me more. You know, moving uh, through life, the ebb and flow, that is the definition of what it is to be alive. Uh, nothing in life is stagnant. Being stuck is death. Being intractable is death. Being static is death. Movement is life. Beauty is knowing when to share your knowledge and wisdom and when to remain silent. Beauty is not following trends. It's making trends. It's doing that thing that is unexpected just because it's fun. It doesn't have to have a reason or, or, a, or a need. Just doing it because you just want to do it. Get out there. Break those rules. Don't be constrained by whatever, you know, society or your neighborhood or whatever anybody else thinks. You set the trends. You be the individual. You be the one that others follow. That is beauty. Beauty is uh, embracing everything that life has to offer without fear. Not being afraid of what might or might not happen, but having faith that no matter how it turns out, that's the way it's supposed to turn out. That's the way it's supposed to be. The two most in, um, unattractive, aging words in the English language are, I can't. Okay, that's three words, but you get the idea. And the, the, the five most attractive, youthful words in the English language, I will find a way. So, no fear. Uh, someone once told me, aging is not for wimps, and I completely agree. When I was uh, 53, I bought myself a little stick shift, um, a little, it was a five speed, and it was a peppy little thing, but I hesitated because I was afraid. I was afraid I was too old, that, that I wouldn't be able to handle it, that I wouldn't be able to drive it, you know? But it was such a cute, peppy little car, it maneuvered on a dime, that I just threw caution to the wind and I got it. That was 11 years ago, and I'm still driving that peppy little stick shift to this day, and I love every minute of it. I love driving it. Uh, I don't like driving it in traffic, but when I'm not in traffic, I really enjoy driving that car. I'm going to close this video uh, by uh, talking about a woman, Cleopatra, a woman who um, arguably is believed to be the most beautiful woman who ever lived. Based on the, the amount of literature that's been written about her, the mythology that surrounds her, she is someone who defines what we believe as beauty. And so I want to read you something from Shakespeare's play, Antony and Cleopatra, that uh, was spoken by a character by the name of Ina Barbas. And he was describing to another character who had not met Cleopatra yet, exactly what it was about her that made her beautiful. Age cannot wither her, nor custom stale her infinite 
variety. Other women cloy the appetites they feed, but she makes hungry where most she satisfies. For vilest things become themselves in her. No mention about the beauty of her face or her eyes or her age. In fact, the first thing he says is age cannot take away her beauty. Age cannot wither her. He compares her to a flower that withers and dies. A uh, custom cannot stale her infinite variety. She does not allow herself to be constrained by um, mores or rules or, or, you know, societal pressure. And those things within her that you might normally find unattractive in somebody else, she makes beautiful only because of the, the, the woman that she is. I want to say happy birthday to me, happy birthday to all you other September babies out there, and even if it, this isn't your birthday month, celebrate anyway, celebrate every day. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again soon in my next video. Bye!